The final day of the National Baby and Toddler Fair was characterized with massive patronage and healthy interactions with parents and exhibitors. Exhibitors lauded Media General and Planet One for organizing the fair and underscored the need to replicate it across the country. George Quinin was at the Marina Mall and has come through with this report. The event marks the second edition of the National Baby and Toddler Fair. The fair was to bridge the gap between new and expectant parents and suppliers and manufacturers of baby wares. Items on sale came with huge discounts. Anything that spoke to the needs of babies, mothers and parents were available. As the betters lauded organizers for the fair and called for more fairs in other regions. Honestly, it's been amazing. The patronage is good and, uh, you know, everyone tries to get in here to find out what we have. Anybody who comes to our stand leaves, they are able to pick a thing or two. We need more of these in almost all the regions. We need it as often as possible because the exposure, the patronage, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. Patrons express delight over the rapport between themselves and exhibitors. Okay, so yesterday I was watching the news and then I saw a clip from here that there was a fair going on. So this afternoon we decided to take a trip down here and then I came in, okay, so there are nice things here. You know babies are delicate and you should use quality stuff for them and they are not really easy to come by. So I came here to see the vendors and also take their contact for future shopping. Okay. Yeah. Management of Montessori's educational institutions, among others, were present to give expert advice to new and expectant parents. Well, I just got myself this very face towel from one of the stands here. It's so quality. And so this is one of the numerous quality products you can have here at the fair. And speaking to some of the exhibitors, they've confirmed that this fair has given them that leverage they so much desired. And so they've called for more of this to be replicated in other regions. And so from the Marina Mall here at Accra, Josh Quinn reporting for TV3.